My name is David. I've been in and out of prison for the last 22 years, breaking into cars and stealing. I've broken into at least 50 to 100,000, and it's like that quick. Count to five, I'm already gone. That's how fast it happens. I've stolen purses, I've stolen guns, I've stolen computers, I've stolen Christmas bags, I've stolen a lot of things. And I didn't care who I was hurting. When I was locked up, I, I was thinking about, you know, that I had to find a different way of living. The only way I could think of doing something different was giving back to the community, and that's why I'm here today. Now I, I'm a member of a church, and it keeps me motivated, keeps me out of trouble. Right now we're here at Washington Park. Ain't nobody think I'm doing nothing wrong. All these people are jogging. They think that I'm somebody just sitting here enjoying a cup of coffee, just sitting here enjoying a day at the park, looking at the ducks, because I look like I'm somebody innocent, but I'm not. I'm actually looking for my victim. They pass by, I say, hi, how you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, nice day, isn't it? They're thinking, oh, he's such a nice guy, but I'm not. I'm here to break into their car. This is how I would do it, I'd come this way, you see, you can't even tell if I'm, I'm breaking into a car. So this is how I do it. See right behind there, there's the purse. The sun blocker, right under there. I guarantee there's a purse there, because it's hiding. I can tell that right there, that's a, that's a purse right there. So right now all I would do is just throw it, it shatter, I just reach in and grab it. Nobody's gonna hear it. Not even that lady walking right there with that dog. She wouldn't even hear it, because I would already breaking it, boom. And I would have taken it. I would keep on walking this way, Ain't nobody knows what I'm doing, because they're too busy running. So I'd come and look, take my time, look. Nope, nothing. What they're doing right right here is they're, they're not putting their things to be seen, like their purse. That's pretty smart. I get my cell phone out, and this is what I would do a lot of times. I'll act like I'm talking to somebody. Yeah, I'm out here at the park enjoying my day. Yeah, how are you doing? Be talking to myself, though. I come to this car, hoping that it is, because it's a nice little car. Yep, I'll hit it. That lump right there shows me that it has a purse right there. This lady's biggest mistake is trying to cover that purse with her jacket, and I know it's there. Start doing jumping jack. <sighs> but these people are actually thinking I'm working out, and I'm not, because I'm like just looking at the cars, just waiting for the victims. The people that are passing by are like, oh, he's working out. So they ain't thinking nothing of me at all when I'm actually out here getting ready to break into a car. It could be anybody. That's the hard part at the parks. I have friends that are female that do that. They walk around with their puppies, breaking into cars. To avoid it, just don't leave your things in the car. If you think that it's gonna be safe under the seat, it's not. It's not safe to leave your things in the car, it's not. The people need to know that, man, because it's not right. If they're gonna go to the park, the best thing I would do for them, my best advice is just take your driver's license and take your key. Make sure they take the keys on them. Don't leave them under the tire. Don't leave them in the gas tank. I see these ladies exercising, doing jumping jacks, little stretches, and then they'll hide their key. Now you're not only gonna get your purse stolen, you're gonna get the whole thing stolen. Right now, I just pulled up to a store parking lot. The holidays are coming up, so I'm gonna be parked out here. I'm gonna act like I'm talking on the phone. I'm just here, sitting here, watching, looking at people that will come by come back and, and leave their stuff in their car and then go back to the stores. There's a reason why she's putting something inside that trunk. It's money, that's what we're thinking. We just go, break the window and ping, and the trunk opens and then we grab what we grab and we go. The alarms go off and the people won't even look because it's not their vehicle. I don't see nothing coming, I don't see nobody parking. Then I'm gonna get off the car. I'm coming this way. I'm gonna act like I'm going to that store, but I'm not. First thing I do is I look in there. Like right here, there's a purse right there. So I would take it. There's already one victim right there. Like if it was a holiday, people usually leave their bags like this. And to me, being a holiday, there's probably presents in there. There's probably something in there. Come around and, and take them that quick and I'm gone. This is the victim. I see what they do, they look around and then they do this, this, or they reach over here and you can see their body. You see how they move? That's telling me that they're pushing something under the seat. A thief knows all these things already. If you're gonna try to hide it under the seat, I already read your body language. You're hiding something under that seat. I don't know what, is, what he's trying to hide, but I'm gonna break that window regardless because I know he's hiding something here. Oh, I'm gonna go into the store right away. I'll leave this here right away. 
By the time you go for a minute, I already took your things that you left in the car. Why? Because people are being careless. They're too much in a hurry. My best advice is take it home. I would suggest that they go from one store, go home, drop it off, then go to the next store. Because if you go from multiple stores, you ain't going to be carrying everything else to the other stores. So guess what? We're coming and taking them. There ain't no safe place to leave your car. If you leave valuable things, you got thieves that are going to come and take it. Because it's the holidays, it's Christmas. There's going to be a lot of break-ins this year because people, they get careless. Thieves don't care. They come to kill, steal, and destroy, and they're going to take it all with no heart. You know, I started thinking about all the people I've hurt in my life. I don't want to hurt nobody no more. I'd rather be broke and be happy and free and not hurt nobody living with that conscience that I've hurt somebody. That's why I want to help people come to realize that it's not okay to leave your things in the car. I hope people listen to me, man, because if they don't, it's going to keep on happening over and over.